Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the provision of NPA under the chapter Final Account of Banking Company under the subject Financing Rural Development. Now, this is a small sum, okay, it keeps coming up in the paper at times, okay, where they ask you to calculate the value of the provision of NPA, okay. So, there are some rules that you have to remember and thereafter you can solve that any kind of sum based on provision of NPA. So let us see how to calculate the provision of NPA. Now, the very first thing that you'll note, need to learn and note down is something called as the provision for NPA that is non-performing assets. So these are the percentage of provision. Like in this chapter, basically what they ask you to find is the provision. Okay, what is the reserve? What is the provision that the bank needs to create? Okay, because then the bank lends money and then it has a lot of time at times there are, you know, some loans are loan become, you know, they get converted into bad loans. Okay, then there are reserves uh, provision you have to create like, you know, delay of one year, two year, three year and above if the loan have not been repaid on time. So the bank has to create uh, provisions, okay, and there are rules for provisions. So number one, for loss making assets which are still yet outstanding, the provision that the bank has to make is hundred percent. For doubtful debts, again it is hundred percent. For doubtful debts, uh, up to one year, okay. Now this is very important. Okay, okay up to one year, it is twenty five percent. More than one year. But up to three years, it is 40% and three years and above everything is converted to 100%. Okay. Next, substandard for secured loan is for 15% provision. Substandard for unsecured exposure is 25% and for standard assets, okay, 0.4%. So this is uh, the first uh, rule or the, you can say the table that you need to learn. Loss making asset 100%, doubtful debts 100%. Up to one year, 25, up to one year, I mean, above one year, but up to three years, 40% and more than three years, again, 100%. For substandard, if it is secured, 15%, unsecured, 25%. And for standard assets, those are the normal, you know, which are in rotation. That is 0.4% or 0.40%. From the following information, find out the amount of provision to be shown in PNL account of a commercial bank. Assets and the amounts have been given. So for such kind of sums, if you look here carefully, they have standard, substandard, doubtful, doubtful, loss. The rule is first you note on all the assets. Okay, now this is our solution. So I have noted on all the assets as it is. We have standard, substandard, doubtful for one year, doubtful for three years, doubtful for more than three years, loss asset. And we have noted down the amount that is 4,000, 2,900, 400, 300 and 500. Okay, now in order to get the, uh, you know, solve ahead, okay, first thing I would like is everyone should read this table, okay, just read this table once and then we'll see how to solve it further. <coughs> okay, Chalo. now let us see how we solve this part, okay, this sum. First is standard. Standard ke liye the rule is if there is standard asset, the provision percentage will be 0.4 or 0.40 percent. So we'll note it down as 0.40. Okay, so 4000. Now, very simple 4000, you just have to multiply, you have to multiply the amount into the percentage. So 4000 into 0.40 percent gives you the value of 16. These are all in lakhs, so it's 16 lakhs for substandard. Okay, now they haven't mentioned whether it is secured or unsecured. We have to assume it, it will always be secured. Okay, if not given. So again, 2000 into 15% gives you 300. For doubtful up to one year, one year up to one year, it was 25%. So we are noted down 25. 900 into 25% is 225. Up to three years, it is up to three years, it is 40%. So we noted down at 40. So 400 into 40% is 160. Doubtful for more than three years, it is 100%. So 300 into 100% 100 is 300. And loss making is again 100%. 500 into 100 is 500. So it is as simple. You just have to remember the table. Okay, based on whatever they have given you, you have to just take those provisions, multiply with the amount, and we get the total provision. We add up the total uh, values of all the provision that we have got, and that was nothing but our total provision required. The total comes to 1501 in lakhs. Okay, so this is how you all have to solve the sum when they are given you all the values of assets. So I hope everyone have understood that. 
ओके चलो सो विद दैट वी विल बी एंडिंग दिस वीडियो यर थैंक यू